it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I have my first design team project using the amazing Sweet Summer Kit from Color Rush Studio. This is the July kit, and it is all exclusive, so super exciting. We also have an exclusive sketch with a challenge. Um, so you can see the sketch in the left upper hand corner, super cool. And the challenge was, was to find the biggest photo you could of like an everyday moment that you wouldn't normally document and then document about real life. So I pretty much only print my photos in four by six. So that's kind of boring. So I went to see if I had any larger photos, um, which is not necessarily an everyday moment, but the story is going to kind of be an everyday moment that I wouldn't have normally scrapbooked. So this is a picture of Julianne. This was her rec league for volleyball last year. And um, so it's a five by seven. So it's, it's a larger photo. So I'm going to use that. Now, I did think about cutting the whole thing into that kind of circular element that you see. But then there's this beautiful wreath paper. Uh, so I decided to cut that wreath part off and then uh, fussy cut it out and then uh, slide my photo into there. Now, obviously you can see my photo is not big enough. So I'm gonna need to do something to kind of make it feel like it takes that whole circular area, but it doesn't. So from one of the other exclusive papers, I fussy cut out some florals. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put that on the top and bottom to kind of, uh, kind of hide the fact that it's not, it's not a full photo. So uh, if you are looking to do something like this and you don't have a, photo that's going to fit completely. This is how I would suggest that you do that. And then, so I tucked the florals um, underneath, but I will also need to put something on top because otherwise you see that sharp line of, of the top and bottom of the photo. So I am actually using the same plaid paper that is in the sketch. And instead of using a chunk of white, I am going to grab this yellow heart paper, which is definitely one of my favorites. And I am just going to make kind of a smaller square. So I figure I have a smaller photo, I'll make a smaller square. Plus that was kind of the section that I had left. So that's the other part of the wreath that you see there. So I'm using both sides. And so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put that there. Now in the sketch, there are some florals in the lower right hand corner. And I did contemplate fussy cutting out of one of the other papers there are corner flowers and that totally would have worked but instead I decided to use kind of this cluster of flowers that I fussy cut out from the floral paper as well and I'm going to put that down there at the bottom and then I know I need to make kind of this little area up in the upper right hand corner that has some banners and that's where your journaling is supposed to go so I grabbed another fussy cut flower and then I grabbed two uh, scrap pieces. So that polka dot paper is the back of the florals that I fussy cut and that stripe paper is actually part of the wreath side of the paper. So I cut those into banners and then I added the wood veneer sun because that wood veneer sun is um, to represent their name was the blazing suns, like, like the Phoenix suns kind of thing. So I really wanted to get that sun on there. And then I added a cute little butterfly up there as well. And then there are the most perfect orange sunglasses. I was like, <gasps> This is perfect. She wears glasses, her uniform's orange. I wanna bring that orange in. So I go ahead and put those glasses up at the top. 
And then uh, since I had that wood veneer piece, I thought that maybe I would bring in some more wood veneer. Uh, the items in the kit didn't quite go with uh, this volleyball photo. So I went in my stash and just pulled out a heart mm -hmm. and a little camera. And then I'm really feeling like I need to get a little more orange on this paper, like somewhere else. Like it's all super heavy orange on the left hand side. And I had contemplated putting the glasses somewhere else, but I really liked them up there at the top. And then I used the alpha to put my title down, which is almost ready. And I am contemplating using this summer from the die cut pack and a good title would be almost ready for summer, but it's not really, it's not really about summer. It is usually a summer league. Um, so that's not a big deal, but I just, I couldn't get it to work. And so I'm like, okay, so I need to do something else. I need to bring, uh, something else in. So I'm thinking, oh, well, I have this popsicle and I can put it right here. I'm like, okay, I like that. And then I put it down, I glue it down and I'm like, no, that looks funny. I don't know. So I move that out of the way. And then, um, I fussy cut out a couple of these hearts to scatter around. Now the story behind this is we were running late for pictures this day and Julianne always likes to be put together, completely put together. And I mean, so do I, you know, um, but especially it was pictures and she had taken a shower and she's like, I don't have time to curl my hair. Like she didn't even have time to finish blow drying her hair. I said, all you need to do is blow dry the front of the hair. I said, nobody's going to see what the back of the hair looks like. <laughs> um, so she's almost ready. So at this point, I was like, oh, I got some markers. Um, so I have this Sharpie uh, orange marker, and I was like, I'm just going to color my wood veneer sun. And uh, doing this, maybe I didn't need the other wood veneer pieces. I I could have stuck with what, what I had, but that's okay. So... I'm going to do the orange just as the rays and then, excuse me, honestly, I thought I had cut this out because I actually went to uh, turn the camera back on after I had done my coloring and realized, oh wait, I was just, I was just coloring the whole time. So I don't color too much. I have this marker from Hobby Lobby that's yellow. So I added that in the center. And then I decided, okay, well, the other wood veneer pieces need to be uh, colored as well. So I'm going to do the outline of the orange on the heart with a yellow center. And then I'm just going to do the camera at the bottom yellow. So all of that gets covered. Um, and that is pretty much going to be my layout. I did add a couple of the like period dots from the thickers pack around scattered those around as well uh just for just for a little extra something so i will have links uh for the shop down below so you can get your hands on this absolutely stunning exclusive kit for the month of july from color rush studio and i also have a discount code so if it's your first time shopping and you want to use my code crystal10, that will save you 10%. And uh, if you sign up for the kit club, uh, you get uh, the add-ons at a, a discounted rate. So very, very cool. So definitely check into that. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. So here uh, is kind of my little close up. I am in love with how this turned out. Uh, Julianne was like, really mom, you're doing a video with that photo, which just makes it even more perfect for the challenge. Cause she was like, Oh, I'm like, are you really okay? She's like, yeah, it's fine. So <laughs> she wasn't too upset, but, uh, 
I did add the pom-pom trim. I forgot to say that. I had that beautiful pom-pom trim instead of the stitching in the, in the sketch. And that is the pink. And that comes in the main kit as well. So there's those super fun glasses. I love how this turned out. So that is going to do it for me today. Remember to leave a and I'll see you